Hello everyone, so let's have a go at this question. So in this question we have a police car that is driving towards a stationary person. The person hears a frequency, I keep spelling frequency wrong, of 400 hertz coming from the siren. The car then passes the person and drives away. The person now hears a frequency of 360. First question says, determine the frequency of the siren. Okay, so let me quickly draw this out. In the first part, we've got a car coming towards a person and the person can hear a frequency of 400 hertz. So let's use a formula just for that. So the Doppler effect formula is the following. And so now what you do is you just fill in as much as you can and also the car is coming towards the person. So we're gonna use a plus at the top and a minus at the bottom. And so we're gonna have frequency of listener. Oh no, we know what that is. The frequency that the listener hears is 400. The velocity of sound in air is 340. The velocity of the listener is zero. So we'll leave that part out. Then it's 340 minus. Now we don't know what the velocity of the source is. So we have to keep it as Vs. We also don't know what the frequency of the source is. So we'll have to call that Fs. So notice this, we've got two unknowns and so we can't solve. And so we're gonna obviously be given other information where we can create a second formula. So now the car moves away from the person and the frequency that the person hears is 360. So we can say 360 is equal to 340. Now the listener's still not moving, so we're not gonna add anything for there. Now we're gonna use a plus at the bottom. So it's 340 plus the velocity of the source, which we don't know, and then the frequency of the source, we still don't know. Luckily, in both of these scenarios, the velocity of the source, which is the ambulance, I mean the police car, stays the same, and so does the frequency of the siren. Remember, the frequency of the siren is what it actually, the, the number of cycles that it's actually releasing. And so what we do now is we realize that we have two equations with two unknowns, and so we have to solve simultaneously. So what I'm gonna do, I mean, there's various ways of doing this, but I'm gonna get Fs by itself in both of these equations. And so for the first one, to get Fs by itself, you're gonna have to multiply this part up to the left, and so we're gonna end up with 360, 340 plus Vs equals to 340 Fs. To get Fs by itself, you then have to divide by 340, like that. I'm now going to do the same with this equation. And so that's eventually going to end up with 300 times by 340 minus Vs over 340 equals to Fs. Now we've got Fs is equal to this and Fs is equal to that. So now we can make these two equations equal to each other like that. And now there's 340 on both sides. So I'm just going to cancel those. We're now going to multiply this in, and so that's 136,000 minus 400 Vs equals to 122,400 plus 360 Vs. And now you just solve for Vs. So if you take the 400 over, you end up with 760 Vs to 13,600, and then you just divide by 760. And so therefore, Vs, which is the velocity of the source, is 17.89 meters per second. And so that is how fast the police car is driving. Now to find the frequency, because I've actually answered question B, to find the frequency, you just substitute it back into this equation. And so there we plug that in over there, and then you just type all of that in on the calculator. And so we end up with 378.94 hertz. So it makes sense that the frequency of the actual siren is somewhere between 360 and 400. So guys, this is a good tip for maths and physics. Whenever you are given information, plug it into the relevant formulas. And then if there's two unknowns, then it's usually a simultaneous. Thanks for watching.